have for us, oh God. Yes, Lord. I thank you. Yes, Lord. And even our enemies shall call us blessed. Yes, Lord. And see that your hand of faith is upon our lives. Yes, Lord. I thank you for divine turnaround right yes, now. Right now I thank you for divine shift right now. Right now Lord. In the mighty name, we call all those things that be not as though they already were. Yes, In the mighty name of Jesus. We are healed. We are delivered. We are set free. Yes, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we praise you. We worship you. Yes, Lord. We adore you. Yes, Lord. We shake off heaviness. Yes, Lord. We shake off depression. Yes, Lord. We shake off frustration. Yes, Lord. We shake off disappointment. Yes, Lord. For the joy of the yes, Lord is our strength. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I thank you right now yes, for moving on behalf of your people. Yes, Lord. Lord, God, touch those who are incarcerated. Yes, Lord. Touch those who are on the sick bed. Yes, Lord. The body of Christ, we are here. Yes, Lord. We thank you right now. Right now, the words of our mouths and the meditation of our hearts will yes, be acceptable yes, in thy sight. Yes, Lord. Oh, Lord. Yes, Lord. Our strength, yes, Lord. our redeemer, yes, Lord. in the mighty name of Jesus, yes, Lord. we pray. Yes, Lord. Amen. 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 What a mighty God we serve. Yes, Lord. Yes. What a mighty God we serve. Mighty God. Mighty God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. We give honor to God who is the head of our lives. Yes. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, who is God, our comforter and keeper. When all our leaders, amen, their respective places, amen. We thank God for our minister Gerard and the praise and worship team. Let's give it up for them, amen. Let's give it up for Sister Corliss, the conductor, amen. amen. Thank God for my lovely wife, Lady Melinda, amen. Let's give it up for praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Something good is about to happen. All right. I can feel it in the atmosphere. Yes. And I want to say this. If you made it through last year, tell your neighbor, you're a miracle. You're a miracle. You're a miracle. And that something good is about to happen. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. We're coming to a place, saying to God, where we have to trust God beyond what we see. Yes, or beyond what we feel and what we think. Yes. God is not moved, hallelujah, by uh, the circumstances. He moved by his spirit. He moved by the leading of his spirit, amen, for his spirit is him, yes. amen, his word is ever the same, amen, things may change, but I thank God that he's the same yesterday, amen. today and forevermore, yes, even though things may not be going like I want, God is still good, amen. can I get a witness in here, amen. and I, I, I made up in my mind like David, uh, 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 brother Robertson, that I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praises shall continue to be in my mouth. Hear me, when it's even inconvenient, amen, I'm going to still praise him. Why? Because get this, when I realize how far God brought me, I know oh, he can bring me this one. Yeah. Yeah. Can I get a witness in my house? Yeah. And tell you the name of God has done so much for me that I just can't tell it all. And the reason why I can't finish talking about it because God ain't through with me yet. Yeah. up and downs last year. Some heartache and pain, some disappointment, some letdown. But there it is a said, I have crossed over into 2021. Hallelujah, come on here. And I can feel, come on, but I can feel the tentacles of the enemy of last year trying to hold me back into last year. But there it is a said, I'm putting out still in the arms of the enemy. The tentacles of the enemy trying to hold me back last year can't hold me in this one. Why? Because whom the Lord has set free, can I talk to somebody?
is a very familiar passage of scripture. But hear me. God wants to minister to us right where we are today. Yes. Gotta have somebody in the house. Yes. Anybody family want to do something? Anybody family yes. member they ain't attacking the cold? But tell your neighbor said, no neighbor, yes. they gonna come out stronger. Can I help somebody? Yes. I need somebody yes. to believe God by faith. Yes. Come on, I hear what the doctor saying, but I don't believe. Yes. Why well, I believe the report of the doctor of the Lord? Tell your neighbor said, neighbor, you gotta speak over yourself. You gotta prophesy. Tell your somebody. Prophecy can't help somebody in the house. Prophecy is always, come on, always opposite of what you see in the natural. Can I help somebody in the house? It may not look good, it may not sound good, but tell your neighbor, neighbor, I'm standing in faith that everything's going to be all right. Can I help somebody in the house? Yeah, I may be sick, maybe going through. Can I talk about myself? Can I testify about myself? Nobody knows that the last month I've been going into my body. Thank you. 
I pray you, come and lay thy hands on her, that she may be healed. And she shall live. Come on here. He said, listen here. The doctors can't do no good, Jesus. But I know that you are a miracle worker. Can I tell somebody in the house? That's what makes God God. Because he do things that don't make sense. Can I tell he do things that, be, that defies humanity? Can I tell somebody in the house? No extremity is God's opportunity. And sometimes get this. God has to eliminate your other options. So you don't have no one else to turn to the As soon as Jesus heard the word, 
that was broken. Hold on, let us go back. Let me go back. And so while they were on the way, tell you, he's on the way. He's on the way. He's on his way. Glory to God. And one thing I like about this, get this. Let me go back to Darius right real quick. Get this. Jesus was coming to his house. Tell you, but say, neighbor, don't keep it at church. Take it to your house. You want to come to your house. You want to be Lord of your house. Can I hear somebody in the house? God, come on to be Lord of your life. Then you just don't come to church and sing a good song, but you don't live the song you sing. Don't you just don't come to church and testify the goodness of God that you ain't living a life of testimony. Can I hear somebody in the house? Even us preachers who should preach the way that we ain't even living ourselves. Lord, help us in the house. We got to be holy for God is holy. Yes. So while Jesus was on his way, there come a woman. I like this. Why did God interject this? And I was asking God, I said, Lord, even on this morning, I said, why would you put this in here during the time when you're on this way, you're on your way to this man's house? He said, because I'm trying to let the people know that I'm not a respected person. What I'm going to do for this man, I will do for this woman. Y'all be God. Then he was a neighbor. God got a miracle just for you. I'm going to hear myself, but let me give you the title of the message. Then he was a neighbor. It's my time for my miracle. It's my time for my miracle. What are you talking about? Well, there's some things that's going on that I can't, come on, I can't help, but I just got to trust. Can I, come on, I can't fix, but I just got to trust God. Can you say, neighbor, see, the plan is way to get what you in need of God to do, can you able to praise God? And that's why the mighty say, when the praises go up, let's just come down. So God in heaven, the praises of Israel, can you say, neighbor, God in heaven, the praises of his people. And I want to get what, because I praise God. Even when I feel sick, I Come on, come on. 
How many people come to church but never touch Jesus? My God. Man. So they come one way and they leave by the verse. Why? Uh -huh. Because they in the house but never get touched by the master. Yeah. Of the yeah. house. Well, look at this. Man, right. So wow, look at this. Jairus was waiting for Jesus to get to his house. There was a delay. My God. Let me say this. First thing you got to do is believe God beyond the dilemma. Right. You hear me? Everybody has dilemmas. That's right. Everybody has issues. Can I have somebody? That's Everybody right. has problems that causes us right. to right. try to, amen, try to fix things ourselves. But how many know the more you try to fix it, the more you make it worse? That's yes. right. And so that's why I love that song that you got to turn it over to the Lord and he will work it out. Come on, can I have somebody in the house? Have you ever had a problem that you couldn't solve and then you went to sleep on it? Come on here. And by the time you woke up, God gave you a dream. Come on. Gave you a baby answer. Gave you peace. Gave you consolation. Gave you instructions. Say, neighbor, we can do it for the night, but God comes in the morning. Can I have somebody in yeah. this go to sleep on it and let God work it out? God will give you instructions. Let everyone hear me. When he gives you instructions, make sure you obey what he told you to do. Because of this, he said, Daughter, come on. Yes. She went from being a nobody to being a daughter. Then you have a transformation. Yes. Divine blood transfusion. Yes. She went from being on the outside to coming on the inside. Yes. Last year, everyone here, many of us felt stuck on the outside. Yes. Nothing yes. happened for us. But I want you to know, Katie, it is my time for my hero. Yes. Hallelujah. And I refuse to let no devil in hell stop me from getting what God got for me. Come on. If you got to get by in the Bible, say, for the kingdom of heaven, something yes. by in the body and take it by force. Yes. Can I have somebody in the house? Can you say, neighbor, God is not looking for no jelly back, no weak, no scared soldiers. Come on, God is for somebody say, Lord, I believe that you're able to do it. See, and I'm above all. The day was last. I think that work is in us. Understand right. this. That go, go ahead and read it. I want to read the next verse. We can read the verse now. Right While he yet spake, there came from the rulers of the synagogue's house a certain which said, That daughter is dead. Why trouble is God the master in the world? Hold on! Why are you waiting for God to move in your house? You get news from your house, from somebody in your house, that your daughter is dead. Why are you believing and waiting for God to move? Mm -hmm. Everyone hear me? The enemy has a way of trying to break you down. Yes. 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 The enemy has a way to try to get you to not trust in God. Why? Right. Why? Because he wants you to make your circumstance greater than your God. Right. Yes. yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Everyone hear me? God is not bound by time or space. Mm -hmm. He is almighty. He can do whatever he wants, when he wants, how he wants. Mm -hmm. God never asked anybody, is it okay if I do this? Y'all better help me in the house. Yeah. The Bible said, a scripture, it says this. It says, who has been God's counselor? Mm -hmm. Come on here. Tell you, nobody's been able to counsel God. Nobody can even counsel God. The mind of God. Come with God takes a foolish thing. Yes. Come to wise. Look, how is it that rain on you and you're allowing things to die? Sometimes, everyone hear me. Sometimes, while you're waiting, things are going to die. Right. My God. What do you do? You can throw the time out. Get this. It ain't over. The God says it's over. Amen. Yeah. Amen. If it was dead, if the dead thing was, if it was so dead, why would Jesus even bother to come? Mm -hmm. Everyone hear me. Sometimes God has allowed the thing to die so he can resurrect it. Because you know that he's God. Yes. yes. Matter for the Holy Ghost. Yes. In other words, sometimes God has allowed that thing to end so he can give you a new beginning. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Hear me, hear me. They said, don't bother him no more. What's he don't even pray to him no more? They ain't even pray about it because it's already over. Yes. Everyone hear me. God didn't tell 
then that he was coming to your house, he told you. Mm -hmm. oh, that's what I did. Like, okay. Amen. Amen. See, you gotta not allow people sometimes who's familiar with you that will try to make you miss what God is about to do.
I'm, 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 I'm flowing in the Holy Ghost because there's just a bit. I can read the scriptures concerning the woman with the issue. She was on the site where she had been taken advantage of by men over and over right. and over again. Right. And it seemed like just when she got in one relationship, she hopped into another. Mm -hmm. Thinking that this is going to be better for the brother who first. Why? Because the very thing that she was looking for, it was all in God. Right. Come on here. Get out of the boat. See, we got to get to the place where we stop trying to do things by a human That's right. mindset. That's right. That's right. It feels good, so it must be right. Come on here. The devil is a very sensual devil. Sure is. Come on. We don't want to discipline our flesh. True. Why? Because we like the way things make us feel. That's right. But let me help you. The Bible said, know that ye are not your own. Mm -hmm. For ye have been bought with a price. If any man defile the temple of God, he will not destroy. Right. And everyone hear me. Don't think that God is going to overlook your sin in order for you to make it to heaven. That's right. He's not going to. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. You must repent daily. Right. Daily. Yes. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, say daily. Right. Daily. 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 And there's things in the air. In our lives, we want God to work a miracle, but yes. what are we giving God to work with? Mm -hmm. Can I tell you something? What causes God to work a miracle? Total healing and obedience. Total healing and obedience. Hallelujah. You know what I do, uh, 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 Mother Linda? When, when I wake up in pain every night, I hear myself, I say, Lord, I'm offering this pain to you as a sacrifice. Jesus. For souls to be saved, for people to yes. be delivered, Amen. for people to be set free. Yes. Come on. I don't understand why God is doing it, but I'm going to present it to him as a sacrifice. Why? Because if I die, let me die. Because I know to be absent, to live as Christ and to die, can't be absent from this life, is to be present with the Lord. Amen. That's what the word of God says. Yes. Y'all hear? When you know that you're walking upright with God, you're not afraid of death. Now here, you realize death is a, just a doorway for you to enter in, for your goodness, your place of uh, destination to be with the Lord. Now everyone hear me. If we're not living right, like, that's something to fear. Y'all hear me? And I'm saying this. We may not have got it right last year, but let's get it right this year. Amen. Oh, oh. Amen. He's given us another opportunity yes. to tell you this long as you in your body, yes. you got time to get right. Yes. But hear me, don't put off for tomorrow what you can do today. Yes. For tomorrow is not promised to no man. Yes. Hallelujah. Well, it's okay to do this. Do this because the spirit of familiarity. Get this. Don't want to be provoked or challenged. It likes to be comfortable. Yeah, right. Come on here. Then it was the neighbor's time for us to rise up. It's time for us to get in a position and be and do what God's calling. Be the next person God. As soon as Jesus heard the word that was spoken, he said unto the ruler of the synagogue, Be not afraid, only believe. Our problem, hear me, is that we're listening to what the enemy is saying over what God is saying. That's right. Mr. Campbell, how can I remove all the fear that thou has played my life in years? Is by building yourself up on the word of God. That's it. Amen. The word of faith. Amen. Come on here. Faith and fear can never be in the same place. Amen. Come on here. Amen. You got to be able to get this. In spite of what men say, Lord, I believe you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. See, what has happened? We come to church, but we're so involved in the world. Everyone here. We're supposed to live a godly life dealing with the world to let the world know that he's the way, he's the truth. Yes, yes, yes. Go ahead, my God. Mm. And, and he suffered no man to follow him, save Peter and James, the, the, and John, the brother of James. Y'all listen here. Everybody can't follow me when God is ready to perform miracles. Yeah. Everybody can't go because you don't need nobody that got down. Come on, here, take somebody. You don't need nobody. Yeah, I heard child by my grandma. Come on, my, my daddy. I had that before. Come on, I don't want to hear that. Y'all hear me? I want to deal with somebody that said, I believe. Come on here. I tell you, I need to surround myself with people that believe like I believe. I need to surround myself with people that believe like I believe. I need to surround myself with people that believe like I believe. Come on here. 
around myself. People that will push me, come on here. And when I'm discouraged, they can hold me up, they can encourage me. Why? Because I'm moving into a new season. Yes. Go ahead. And he cometh to the house of the ruler of the synagogue and said unto Mark, and them that well and well greatly. And when he came in, he said unto them, Why make thee this ado and weep? The damsel is not dead, but sleeping. Hold on a second. Let me say this. He told the first set of people, he said, told them, none of them to go, except just Peter, James, and John, and Jairus. They go to his house. And then we get to the house, get this. There was so much uh, turn to uh, turn People crying and hollering and screaming. Get this, everybody that's crying with you ain't crying for you. Y'all yes. A lot of these people will pay back. They go, ah, just uh, stay crying instead of getting what you got. Get this. And Jesus walks in and says this. He said, y'all making all this ruckus. He said, why y'all making all this noise? He said, the, the, she's not dead, she's sleeping. And they get this. They begin to ridicule him. They begin to laugh and begin to mock him. Everyone hear me. People may be laughing now, but God is going to have the last laugh. Y'all hear me? Amen. And I love what Jesus, Jesus, get this. Jarius didn't put him out. Jesus put him out. Y'all, y'all can get that. There's some things that God is going to tell you that God is going to handle himself. Put him out. Go ahead, man, God. Next verse. And they laughed him to scorn. Uh, but when, we, when he had put them all out, yeah. he came to the father and the mother of the damsel, and them that were with him, and entered in while the damsel was lying. And he took the damsel by the hand and said unto her, Tell us our cumin, which being interpreted the damsel, I say unto thee, arise. Y'all, y'all, y'all miss it, y'all miss it, y'all miss it. He said, he put all them out, then he takes the mother and the father. Get this, which was the young lady's connection. Takes him in the room. You take him and say, hey, God's going to have special people that when he work up here with the young lady, nobody did, but he did. Take him and take him and say, hey, my time, my house. God is working up here with my house right now. God is healing somebody in my house right now. God is raising them up right now. Come on, man, come on, get out and pop us out. Come on, get out of here, let's speak in your name. Like we see. Yeah. Yeah. Even when he goes and raises he said he's sleeping. He said, ah, laughing him. Get this. And he lifted his hands toward him and said, Father, I thank you for all this you gave me. Each time I pray. Yes, God. Very simple prayer. Then he says, Lively, come forward. He told the person who the stone, they wrote the stone, and then Lively, come forward. Get this. And he had great folks. He told great folks to Lucy. Hey, David, said, Nate. Everything they tried to put on me when I was in bunch has a loose me. Come on here. I'm not going to come out like I went in. Come on here! Uh -uh. Hallelujah. Yeah. Come on, lift your hands. Yeah. You need to to get this. Took about in. She rose. He said, arise. As I said before, everyone hear me. I'm too close. Why? Because she was in a dead place. But she wasn't meant to be there. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes God has to allow us to go through dead places, but we're not meant to say that. Yeah. 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 Sometimes we're going to go through places of pain, places of discomfort, places of regret, places of disappointment, but don't stay there. You rise. Get up and go on and do what God has called you to do. I'm reminded, get this, of Jacob, how when Jacob, uh, uh, the Lord told him to rise and go, go back to Bethel. That's what we need to go back to church. We need to go back to the place where it's Bethel. Bethel means house of God. Yes. The very place where Jacob first encountered God. We need to go back. Give me. We got to go back from that. Have we ever forgotten something? We, because you were traveling and you realized you forgot your phone and so you had to go back. Why? Because you couldn't go no further without it because it had vital information that you need to get this to connect you with people that you was looking for. Yes. 
But get this. Without it, you can have no power of contact. Yeah. Come on, lift your hands. God is trying to work on people for your life today. He's crying and wondering how God's going to do it. Listen, they want to hear me. What makes God God? He can do whatever He wants, how He wants. Lord, I thought you were going to come this way. Hear me. Any way the Lord bless me, I'll be sad. Uh, Amen. Because he know how to do it. Amen. Come on. Hallelujah. My wife told me, she said, I, I called her and told her, I said, I'm in so much pain. She said, you take your medicine? I said, I don't like taking medicine. <laughs> can, I be, can I be honest? I don't like taking medicine. Sometimes I, they gave me some pain pills. I'm so, as I said, I was so lucid, I was dreaming such crazy stuff. I said, God, if, 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 if I can just make it through this, I'm not going to take no more. Why? Because I'm not used to it. There's some people, get this, who, who body has a high tolerance. Why? Because they've been taking it for a long time. Can I help somebody? For me, I got to be careful what I take because I can't take everything because I just got one kidney. I can't take ibuprofen or leave or, 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 or things like that. I got to take just... So get this. Sometimes God moved you to a place where there has restrictions. Oh, God. Y'all right. missing me. Y'all missing me. What are you saying? Those restrictions are meant to protect you. Right. Man, I feel the Holy Ghost in here. That's right, man. You wonder why God don't allow you to get away from everything because he's trying to keep you. Yeah, sure. They were on your feet. Man, God, read, read the last verse for me. Read the last verse. 40, 43, I believe. And straightway the damsel rose and walked, for she was of the age of twelve years, and they and they were astonished with great astonishment. And he charged them straightway that no man should know it, and commanded that she they should give her something to, to eat. Okay, what do you mean? What I'm gonna say? I'm gonna deal with the number twelve. Number twelve means government. God is gonna give you back your authority. God damn it. Last year we went through some things that felt like we were just stripped. Come on here. Yes. But tell you neighbor, say, neighbor, I'm coming back in my authority. I'm coming back in the power that God has given me. Come on here. Amen. I'm walking in that place in that place of favor and position yes. that God has given me. Come on here. Amen. And you tell you neighbor, say, neighbor, and God wants you to feed you. What are you saying? He wants you to strengthen yourself. Yes. He wants you to strengthen everything. Get this. If the enemy fight, he wants you to strengthen. So this year, we're going to pray like never before. We're going to fast like never before. Come on here. We're going to sacrifice like never before. Because get this. We've been having it too easy. And God is calling for more. Everyone hear me? Hear me what I'm finna say? If we're not rooted and grounded in God this year, you're not going to make it. There's some things that God has to allow to come up on the earth. God showed me some things plain as day. I can't even tell nobody. I can just. He said, I want you to see this, but don't say nothing. Because everyone hear me. Within the next two weeks, God is going to shock and all the people. Make a laugh. But God said, I'm going to have the last laugh. Hallelujah. God has all power. Can do what he wants, when he wants. Don't have to ask nobody for nothing. Everyone hear me. When we praise God, it benefits us. Right. You can't, nothing you do can make God lesser or greater. Come on. Mm. He's just God all by him. It's by itself. On the fields. It's my time for my miracle. I'm going to believe God is doing it right now. Wherever he leads me, I'm going to follow him. But everyone here, he wants to do a miracle in your house, in your life. Hear me. It's going to touch your family. It's going to touch your loved ones. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Come on, just worship right where you are. Right where you are. Right where you are. Come on, everyone, just give it up to him.